Hey guys, welcome to a new video and welcome to a new sewing project. I am still on my stash bus thing. If you watched my video where I tried to reorganize all my sewing supplies and my fabric stash, you may have seen that I currently have no more room for my fabric stash and I need to start using stuff up. So, first candidate is this, the Queen's Gambit Pinafore fabric. I have so much of it. I don't know why, I don't really remember. This may have been the one where they sent me extra fabric just because the roll of fabric was ending. I could easily make another dress out of this, but I don't really need two dresses out of the exact same fabric in my wardrobe, no matter how much I love it. So I thought I would do something a little bit different. Today, I wanted to make a capelet. A beautiful little piece of outerwear that's honestly gonna be more of a fashion item than probably a functional outdoor piece because this fabric I don't think it's suitable for outdoor wear it's definitely not gonna be rainproof but you know it's gonna look nice I absolutely love the look of those beautiful vintage capelets I actually have a capelet already this one right here which I absolutely love this is from H&M I've had it for a couple of years now it's a beautiful burgundy color and I adore it and I wanted to use this to trace a pattern today. I'm not gonna be copying this thing exactly because there are a few things that I would like to change about it. And I'm hoping to tackle some of the reasons why I don't really wear this a lot. So the first and kind of main thing is the length of it. This is a beautiful length when you are wearing something form-fitting underneath. But given that most of my clothing is emphasized around the waist and then, you know, flares out again, the length of this which comes down to about my bum, I'd say, it makes me look like a big triangle. <laughs> there is no definition in the center and I do feel like I need that, you know, just to flatter my figure a bit more, make the whole outfit look a little bit less comical, I guess. So I would like to make my cape come down to about waist length, maybe a little bit above waist length so that you can see that defined waist underneath it. Another thing is that this one has pockets. I don't need pockets. So I'm gonna leave that out. I want to do the closure a bit differently. This one has a row of hidden buttons. I think I'm just gonna do a couple exposed buttons. And I am considering doing a different color, but I might have to rethink that. I would love to do a, either like a Peter Pan style color or maybe one with a point. But I think I need to have a good think about how I want to use this. Because if I want to wear it over coats, I need to kind of take the coats already existing colors into consideration. And having two Peter Pan colors stacked on top of each other, I don't think that's going to be a great look. If it is to be its own standalone piece, then definitely I will do a color. But we'll see about all of that later. First thing I want to do is copy these pattern pieces onto pattern paper and then modify them so that they are the right length and go from there, I think. That's a good place to start. Let's go. Right. I have my pattern pieces. I think they're good. I hope they're good. I tried them on my mannequin, I tried them on myself. So I have a front. I have a front and back piece and then I have a back that I need to cut in the fold. So I think now I'm just gonna cut these out of my fabric and wait with figuring out the lining pieces and everything and the collar um, until after I have this so that I know what I'm actually working with. Let's get this onto fabric.
Alright guys, it's a new day and I'm ready to move on with this. So I have pinned all of my pieces together and put them on my dummy here and it looks alright. It really does. So I think what I'm gonna do now is just sew all of this together and I think I am just gonna go ahead and line with the same fabric. It's a much thinner fabric than it would seem because the back is pretty much flat. It's kind of a strange, strange fabric. So I think I'm just gonna line the inside with the same fabric, give it a bit more weight, make it a bit thicker. I have made a little collar pattern that I hope is gonna work. So I have very little experience with collars, but here it is. Um, so I want to make that and then just attach everything together. So I think today I'm gonna start by just sewing these seams down, making the same thing again, attaching the two together. Um, the lining and the outer fabric and then we'll worry about the collar. I have also decided that yes I might regret this I want to do fabric covered buttons again was it my last video where I said I was never gonna do them again here I am I'm gonna do them again but this time I have these really really giant ones and I hope that's gonna make it a little bit easier and if it doesn't work I'm not gonna keep trying I'm just gonna give up right away and use a different button <laughs> But I want to try and use big, gorgeous fabric covered buttons. I only have two of these, but I actually only wanted to do two buttons. One right at the top here and then one, um, I think about maybe like uh, mid breast level. I think everything below I'm just going to leave open. So yeah, that is the plan for today. Let's see how far I get. I'm going to start by sewing this up. Alright, progress update. I have a lined capelet and I started working on the collar but I ran into some problems there. So first of all, I am almost completely out of fabric so I have had to piece together one of the collar bits which isn't a huge problem, I can just put this one on the bottom. But I also think <laughs> I might have made the collar the wrong way around with the points facing inward, I think. Because I'm not entirely... I think... Yeah. This side, the curved side, is supposed to go in, which would make the points go inward. So I can always, you know, trim that down still, but I need to really have a good think about this. Logistics of things like this still just kind of blow my mind a little bit. But that is where I have come to now. So I think that's what I'm going to do now. Try and figure this out, play around with it, and then attach the collar. And that would put me into almost the final stages. Then all I need to do is just attach the buttons and I think this thing will be done. So yeah, if everything goes well from here, then this would have been a fairly quick project, which is nice. I like quick projects. So yeah, let's try and figure out this collar situation. <laughs> all right. I have a collar. Things definitely went wrong here. I made the pattern indeed the wrong side around, but it kind of turned out to work because that point that I had added made it so that it actually fits around the top. No idea how that happened. So I made it upside down and too short. But anyways, I have something of a collar here. Another mistake I made is that I should have attached 
um, the front of the collar to the front of the capelet and the back of the collar to the back of the capelet before I attach the front and the back together so that I could have done it all in one go and then just turn the whole thing inside out and attach it like that. I was able to remedy things by pinching the top of the capelet between the two layers of collar and then um, hand sewing top which was a lot more work than necessary but I did it and it's done now. <laughs> right now I think it's looking pretty good but a little bit bulky. I haven't ironed it yet so I think I'm gonna try and do that first and see how puffy it looks after that. It's definitely puffy because I did two layers of this fabric. I don't mind really. I think it looks nice and fluffy and warm and more outerwear like if it's a little bit puffy but I do need it to be at least neat. So I'm gonna iron it first and then try and hand fabric cover those buttons and then attach them and again I do still think I just want to do one button here and one button here and then yeah that should be the capelet done. and oh I absolutely love it I actually like this even more than I thought when I started making this it was meant as just this quick little you know cute stash busting project but I absolutely love it I think it turned out so cute it is exactly what I wanted exactly what I was hoping for it is the right length that does still kind of you know allow room for my waist <laughs> I love the material, I in the end really ended up liking the weight of it. It is still a little bit thicker and slightly poofy I guess, but it just makes it look really plush and comfy and warm and I really like that. Uh, I think this is a perfect item for winter and I just adore it all together. I love how the buttons came out, I love how they kind of match up with the pattern and I just think it is absolutely adorable and I think I will actually end up wearing this much more than I thought. I'm also quite happy with how the collar came out, especially considering, you know, how wrong I made it. I think it actually looks pretty cute. I think I'm able to get away with this with it this time and now at least I know what mistakes I made and what I need to do differently next time. <laughs> so let's hope I remember it this time. But yes, here it is, a little vintage style capelet, perfect for winter, autumn, any type of colder weather. Now I just need to figure out different ways to style this, but I do actually really like it with my pants that I made, my um, vintage trousers. <laughs> But yeah, that is it guys. This was so simple. I think if you actually knew what you were doing beforehand, this could have easily been a one day make. Definitely worth considering if you have some leftover fabric and are looking for something cute to make. So that is it guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed going on this little sewing journey with me once again. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for lots more beauty, lifestyle and sewing fashion videos. If you would like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there are links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!